to the channel today. I am coming in today with an exciting demo. I've already unboxed it, so it's not a real unboxing, but hopefully, let me see. Here it is. This is the Cam Snaps pressing tool. And so before I get into it, let me just say, you, for those who've already been following, you know I already have a pressing tool by a different company. And <clears throat> while I have no issues with that tool, I knew I always wanted to second press, especially with doing handbags and wallets. Um, I wanted a second press to be able to do holes and whatnot. And so um, being in all the different groups and everything like that, uh, yeah, I finally bit the bullet. And it was, I, one of these nights I was up late and I was perusing on Cam Snap's um, website and just going through everything. And when I say late, it was for me, it was like 1130 at night. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this press um, from Cam Snaps because they have all the rave reviews and I see nothing but good, good, good things. And so I was like, OK, so let me see. So I was looking on there and I had no idea what to get. And of course, Cam Snaps do have a YouTube channel. So you can always check that out. But in my immediate thinking, because you know, I'm I'm familiar with using a press tool um, because I already had one and I knew what I wanted. I wanted one that punched holes and did snaps, um, the dies and everything that was needed. And so I went onto the website, was looking around and I still was a little confused and it was about 11.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, which California time is two hours behind. Um, so I sent a note, I sent the email uh, through their customer service to do, um, to ask a couple questions. And Judy actually responded. <laughs> like a half an hour because I was still up watching YouTube videos and all of this. And so um, she responded to all my questions and I was, I was really surprised. I was like, okay, she's working up. She's working pretty late, <laughs> even for California time. And so she answered all my questions. I asked her specifically, I wanted to make um hole punch for uh, rivets that I put in either handbags, wallets, um, that were either eight millimeter or nine millimeter, which one should I get? Um, and I also wanted to do snaps and the snaps are for garments, um, different things of that nature. So she came back and she put, actually put together my whole cart for me, which was really, really nice. That is going above and beyond. She could have just told me what to do, you know, here's what I suggest and left it at that and left it up to me. But she put it all in the car for me, which I loved because that was one less thing I needed to do. And then, um, so then I paid for it right away. As soon as she did that, I went ahead and paid for everything. And then um, I went back in because when she sent it over and I was checking out, I noticed that she had the green um, press in there and I wanted pink. So the pink was a few dollars more, not much, but just a couple dollars more. Um, and then the next day when I went back on the site, cause she, um, cause she did, um, put some snaps as I requested in there. I went back and I was thinking, well, I am working on a project that could use the gunmetal snaps. And so I went back, it was maybe the next day, no, two days later and said, oh, have you processed my order yet? I want to order some more snaps and she hadn't yet. And so, um, I was able to add those on to my order and um, place that order. So then everything shipped, everything came really fast, which again, this company is based out of California and you know, California is under a statewide um, stay at home order. And so you just never know when it's gonna come, but it, she's able to ship. She's considered, I believe an essential business. So she was able still to ship everything. I got it within four days. Not long at all. I mean, but it's coming from California to Texas, so definitely not a long, um, that long of a, uh, a transport. And it was free shipping um, because the amount I spent. Now, quite a few things were on sale. Um, and so what I will do is link down in the description box the um, press I got, the snaps I got, um, and the dies that I got. But what I wanted to do is show you using it. So... 
let me see let me adjust this so you won't see my face which is not important for the demo but here is the press it this is a very solid surface it's sitting on top this thing that is sitting on is solid and plus it's sitting on top of my um on my uh cutting on my cutting table so and let me make sure i got you okay so here is let me tell you what i got i got the um, table press and this press is for uh, snaps rivets grommets and buttons so it's the dk93 with the dk93 adapter which is this oops this is the adapter that goes in the bottom and there's actually a screw that came with it. I haven't put it in there, but there is a screw on the side there, as you can see, that to keep that in place. But I, I haven't had any. I've only tested it once or twice, um, so a couple times. So I haven't found the need to screw it in yet. I'm sure I will maybe at some point. Otherwise, I will show you what I'll be keeping everything in. <clears throat> and so, this is actually the um, bottom die for the hole punch. And so it just slides right, slides right in here like that, very easy. And then the top die is a 2.5 millimeter for snaps and for rivets. So this is how that looks. So that goes right in here. Now, the one thing that she should suggest it when I was going through instructions, because it come with an instruction sheet on how to use it. She do suggest for all these that go in the top here that you um, actually uh, oil these. So I will just use my sewing machine oil every now and again, because I will be using this a lot um, to just oil these ridges at the top. And hopefully you can see that, those ridges there. Let me see. The ridges at the top of all of these, I will definitely use my um, machine sewing machine oil and just oil those every now and again now before i get into the demoing of this what was i using before so i'm gonna push this off to the side so i have this set you all who follow me know i use this die cutter set i still highly recommend this set it has so many great um different punches in them see here these different punches it has in their different sizes. And so it comes in a variety of sizes. I'll leave a link to this down in my Amazon store down in the description box. And you will see where I have handbag tools and stuff. It's in there and in my sewing tools, you'll see it. Um, but what I was using was this particular one here. This one is a small hole. And what I was using was my other press, which I'll just show you briefly without going into it. And so I have these, um, I forget what these are called. I got these from Debbie Hunker. Um, these are press plates, that's what they are. These are press plates. And so I was using that to punch holes. And as you can tell, and if you saw my recent sew along for the Mrs. Sling bag, you know that that can get tricky because you're putting the, whatever it is you're trying to punch for a rivet and then you're trying to stabilize this and sometimes this can go crooked and get all off kilter um and so i after the last bag i made i was like no i need a hole punch and um and i also have this tool but for again um, for those who follow know this hurts my hand to use it is nice for other things though so i am gonna keep it i'm definitely gonna keep it because it can like if you are doing card stock if you have card stock and stuff like that these little this little punch is nice to punch holes if you're doing some kind of cards or gift cards and you're running ribbon through it this is real real simple for something like that um and then i also have this here is a grommet plier just drits from Joanne Fabrics. And I want to say I picked this up from Joanne Fabrics as well. And so I'll still hold on to these tools, of course. Um, 
But yeah, so that is what I was using before. Oh, and I also wanted to add another tool that I have is the Snap Setter tool, tool set. I do have this, I have the size 16, and um, because I was doing pearl snaps, and I have an entire, I have a container, not a whole bunch left, just a few. So I do have this tool as well. Um, and it's nice for setting pearl snaps. And so when I do order the other colorful snaps from um, Cam Snaps, I'm just gonna add them to the compartments in here. So that is the other tool that I've also used um, to do snaps in the past um, to punch holes. Now, uh, another reason I say this set is good because, let me see if I can find it. I think it's this one. This size here, hole punch, and I'll still use my other press for this um, with the press plates. This is the perfect hole size. If you make the necessary clutch wallet or wallet similar to that that have the turn lock, this, this opening is absolutely perfect. Look at that. So that's why I say that that punch set, this cutter set is still really good. And here's a smaller one of the same thing. So if you have a smaller wallet, you want to do that little turn key, maybe for the um, NCW Mini or whatever other wallet project you have. So those are still good to have. And there's so many different sizes in here. And again, these can be used. Here's a square one too. And see, these can be used for anything. Like these would be nice for larger grommets, holes. And it's a hole that's a little bigger than that that's in here too. Here it is. See, you have these different sizes. So that's why I said this is still good to have. So if you're doing, say, the Swoon Bonnie bucket bag and you want to put your grommets in easy, have, and you have a press with the press plates, this here is absolutely perfect to use. And let me just at least put something behind it so you can see. And you can just use that to punch the hole into for your Bonnie bucket bag. Very easy. So this is still very, very valuable tool set to have. <clears throat> so I decided to go ahead to save myself some stresses from using that um, press is to go ahead and get a hole punch. And so I went through everything um, and went through all of the instructions. I have my ut my utility springs. Um, these are the snaps and the snap sockets. It comes in a package like this. All the pieces you need is four bags. So you have the actual snaps that you can see. Then you have the sockets and everything, all the four pieces here. And then you get the same thing for the gun metal, which is, this one. So the same packs come in here. And I'll show you where I'll, I plan to store these. And then she sent these little cute, um, these are a thank you, um, the plastic uh, snaps. So these are cute too. And then for the snaps, you do get the, let me just hold this up for you. You do get the um, actual dies. So you have the dies, the parts that go on the bottom, and then the dies for the tops. Um, and I'll show you, show you that briefly. Um, many of you probably are already familiar with it. But um, what's nice is the instructions tell you which piece go on top and which piece go on the bottom. So you're not confused um, by that. So real quick, what I did do because I of course had to go through all the instructions make sure i knew what i was doing and i tested a couple things this is a snap that i was able to put in look at that that is awesome and what i like is because she also have um of course the grommet um dies as well the smaller ones that you can use for um 
belt loops or different things like that. And so um, I'm definitely gonna buy some more. I actually wanna buy her, and I'll pop a picture up here, her um, set that has the plastic. It's a rainbow of plastic snaps, and I wanna get the dies to go with that as well. But look at that. Look at that. So that's the snap I did. Let me just demo for you these holes. So I did put holes in several different types of products. I have, this is some leather. So if you saw my um, HD 3000 demo video, I use this leather. Again, I'm not good with leather. The weight and size of this, uh, it's thick, but not overly thick. And so I did put a single hole in it, but I'll just show you. It was real easy to do. I didn't have to press down hard at all. Just press and you can hear it. You can't hear it probably, but that's it. And so when I fold it over twice and put a hole in, so I'm gonna fold it over two times. And again, on my end, I can hear the little you can hear the hole being made, and there you have it. A hole through two pieces of leather. So for me, I knew this is faux leather. And so this is two pieces of faux leather together. Again, you can hear the hole when it goes. You can just actually hear it. Now, if you have, see I just made this hole. I don't know if you can tell, but it didn't go through all the way you mark your spot with the pen i'm not doing that because i'm just doing a regular but i can see the perforation here on the back i'm just gonna oops maybe i should mark it with the with the pen so i can see there you go So then, and if you have to, you can use an awl to, if it, you have trouble at all putting it through. So love, 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 very easy. That's the faux leather. I've done it in this glitter vinyl. This is from my punk broidery. As you can see, actually here are the holes for that. I'm gonna fold this over twice. And there, and you do, you can clean this out because you'll see buildup of whatever it is that you're punching in there. And so again, and you don't have to press hard. And then with the glitter vinyl, it can be a little tricky because of that um, one side of the vinyl, but that's all you have to do. And there, uh oh, there's your hole just so you can see. See, there's your hole. And I've done it with cork as well. So I am very, very, very happy with the hole punch. This will make things so much easier when I'm setting holes and bags and wallets and different things of that nature. Actually, for those who will be following, when I do the Urban Tote by Maggie 55 so long here at the end of the month, I will be using this to put my holes in. I still will be using my other press to set the rivet, but it's nice just to have two separate pressing tools to handle two different functions. Now, let me switch this out into for the snaps. Okay, so for the um, snaps, the utility spring snaps, the instructions is very clear and show you which dies, um, which dies to use with what part. And so pretty easy. So you have your cap. This is the cap. And then this is the female part, which, sorry if you can barely see that. Those, you will you can start with first and so um you will for the cap you will put the um this 
this piece is for the cap and that goes on the bottom and then the female post okay here's the female post i had to look at it again make sure i was saying the right thing this is the female post that goes in the top <clears throat> and so once you have your hole and i'm actually going to open up this one i did so once you have your hole which you saw i just did um, <clears throat> on both sides so what you do is you put the cap down at the bottom it's a nice little groove that that sets in and then the female piece more that flat piece goes up at the top and it'll it will stay so that will stay in place and then you have where you put your hole you put that hole through the cap and then all you do Get your fingers out the way. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. You press down and there you go. Uh -oh. That's probably why I need to put that screw in. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. It is in place. That is the first part of the snap. And so then the second part, you have to take these pieces out and I will go ahead and put that screw in. <clears throat> You put this, the male piece here, you will put at the bottom. And then the for the post, the, the part that you screw in goes at the top. And you're going to do the exact same thing. So for the male post, that flat part, you see the post here, the flat part, it goes right on top there. Very, very easy. And then this part, the male post, will go at the top. Very, very easy. See, stays right in place. <clears throat> you, you already made your hole. Put your hole right in there. And down she goes. Look at that. Oh my gosh okay my camera cut off so you have your snaps in place there you go look at that nice so that is I am so excited so so excited to have this this is going to come in so much handy for all of my <clears throat> upcoming bag projects so because the items come in bags <clears throat> until I get used to it I'm gonna keep everything in its bag <laughs> um, how it is but I have this organizer here actually um, this used to hold some makeup but um, I doing some organizing and decided okay this would be perfect just to keep my dies and everything in even for the um, snap dies um, <clears throat> same thing I'm gonna keep all of those in here along with my um, my other pressing tool that has the press plates all those I'll keep I'll keep in these drawers and these will stay because I do all my pressing on this workspace here um, where I do all my cutting and stuff when I need to do holes and whatnot I come in here with my presses because it's a heavy-duty flat surface let me try to okay <laughs> so that is it like I said I will leave um, the direct link uh oh you're a little crazy I will leave a direct link to everything that I purchased <clears throat> um, down below. And so, and also check out Cam Snap's YouTube channel um, because there's a lot of good helpful information on there as well. But yeah, I am all set. This is a huge game changer. Um, getting the multicolor snaps is gonna come in handy for some other uh, projects um, that I'll be working on for my business. Um, the grommet uh setter and even the for belt loops for just some different projects and you can your mind can probably just go 
way out there if you are you know you're into crafty things like that and doing different things if you have a business you're doing stuff for um <clears throat> for me i find having the two press um <clears throat> press um tools is nice but i am loving love 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 the customer service of cam snap she was awesome i really appreciate her being up late answering all my questions and i did not mention but for this plate if you have are in a have like a shop shop you do have holes in this here to um bolt down to a table but i don't ever plan on doing that but it is an option and so yeah thank you so much judy for all of your uh support and answering all of my questions i am in love with my press i will be ordering more supplies here soon um i'm gonna go through and figure out what else i want to get and probably order everything at once um i think it's just the cup the rainbow color snaps and then the uh the die sets because you need a separate die set for the plat to set the plastic snaps um versus the utility so yeah i am very excited again everything that i talked about will be in the description box so make sure you check that out and that is it for today hope you all are staying safe and um stay tuned for wednesday i will have the final piece for my wardrobe staples that i've been working on and then after that will be a lookbook so any Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.